I'm David Carnoy, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here with the JBL OnBeat. As you can see, this is an iPad stereo docking system. It also takes the iPhone and the iPod Touch, but the big deal here is that it's supposed to work with the iPad. Now, the one small flaw is that while it has a swiveling arm design, it doesn't swivel with the iPad. Uh, that's a real problem because if you want to watch movies in landscape mode, you can't swivel the dock. Um, it won't stand up. It is not designed to work with the iPad. You can do it with the iPod Touch or the iPhone, but not the iPad. Apart from that, this is a pretty good little stereo system. It is fairly lightweight, so you can take it from room to room. It's designed to sit on a bedside nightstand. It does have a little bit of a funky design. The front looks a little bit like a woman's formal dress. Some people won't mind that. Some people will. Uh, this does sound decent. Um, it plays loud, uh, has a decent amount of detail. It'll fill a small to medium-sized room, and that's really its strong point. It's a little thin on the base because it is so small. Um, and there isn't much in the way of stereo separation, but it is a decent sounding little system. Around back, it does have a couple of extra features. There is a USB port, so you can connect this to your computer and sync your iTunes. There's also a video output. However, that is a composite video output, so the picture isn't going to be all that great, but you could send the video from your iPad or iPhone to a TV. That's all there really is to it. There isn't any built-in Bluetooth like there is on its bigger brother, the JBL OnBeat Extreme, which does retail for a lofty $500. This one goes for about $120 online. That's down from its list price of $150 when it first came out last year in 2011. I wouldn't call it a bargain at that price. Um, it really should be less than $100, particularly because of that design flaw where you can't put your iPad in landscape mode, really an iPad Stereo docking system should allow you to do that, so it's really hard to recommend at this price. I'm David Carnoy, and that's the JBL on Beat.